A lot of business owners often dread the thought of switching insurance agents or brokers. This is especially true for complex accounts or where there are a lot of vehicles, certificates, or difficult policy forms like professional liability or E&O insurance. I get it. Fundamentally, change is something the human brain wants to avoid. And when it comes to switching your business insurance to a new broker, that change can be paralyzing. Hi, I'm Gordon Coyle. Welcome to my channel where we talk about the risk and insurance issues on the minds of business owners. As an expert business insurance broker, these videos are intended to help guide and educate decision makers to help you make more informed insurance buying decisions. If I don't answer the question on your mind that brought you to this video, reach out and let's connect. I'd love to hear from you. So, is it really difficult to switch to a new insurance agent for your business insurance? How do you make that process less difficult and less scary? It shouldn't be difficult to switch over to a new broker if you and that broker have done your homework, and this is true for small business accounts and large ones as well. Of course, the larger your account, the more complex things will be. So let's talk about this process and what homework I think you and your new agent should be thinking about. First, I'm a big advocate of starting the renewal process early. This is true of renewing with your current agent or when you're looking for a new agent or broker. I think it's important to comment on the most common reasons why business owners move to a new broker. It's because they feel like they've outgrown their current situation. The service isn't great. Return phone calls or emails can take days instead of hours. General frustration sets in and the client feels like they're never getting the right answer or the whole story. Okay, so back to starting early. Typically, many agents start the renewal process 90 days in advance of your renewal date. But the more complex your business is, the more time is prudent. 120 days is not uncommon. Second is data gathering. Yes, the dreaded applications, forms, and supplemental info requests. Yes, these are a big pain in the ass, but for a new agent to do the best job possible they need to do, they need the info. Just handing over the current policies isn't going to be enough and not digging into the info puts you at a disadvantage. Third is preparing for the transition, and what I recommend is getting all your stakeholders in your company involved. That means accounting and finance needs to be involved in the billing process and procedures. The person who deals with certificates of insurance should prepare a list of all active cert holders that will require replacement certs upon the renewal and any particular wording or endorsements that are required. Get that to your new agent well in advance of the renewal so those COIs can be prepared and back to you to redistribute to your customers, vendors, contractors, etc. in a timely manner. If you have a safety or risk control manager or team, they should be already engaged with the new broker and have identified the risk control projects you'll be working on during the coming year. But lock this down as part of your service engagement with the new broker. And lastly, verify that all the details in the proposal to make sure it's accurate. If you started with info 120 days ago, you may have changed autos, drivers, or other changes took place on those policies. Before binding the new policies, make sure everything lines up so there's no last minute emergencies. The point is, is that if you're working hand in hand with the broker you've selected to be your broker on your renewal, then switching shouldn't be a big hassle. Now, you'll notice that I said that you're working with the broker you've selected, which is very different from what a lot of business owners still do today, and that is sending their account out to bid or quote, and then selecting the broker with the lowest price. Yes, this is where switching can be a nightmare, and one of the reasons we don't think bidding out a program makes a lot of sense. If you want to see our take on why using just one broker on your next renewal makes sense, take a look at this video here. The bottom line is that if you're not satisfied with your current insurance broker situation, then finding the right broker and switching over to them makes a lot of sense. Small business owners shouldn't find the process too challenging and don't need to take all the steps I mentioned, but the more complex your business is, the more time and effort will be needed to make this change as painless as possible. If you're in the market for a new broker and not sure where to turn, why not reach out and let's have a conversation. My contact info is in the description box below, and I promise no high pressure sales conversations. If you do reach out, it's just a conversation to see if we may be a good fit for you and your business. Thanks for watching, and hey, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks.